Over the several decades of being acquainted with Josephine Abercrombie, like so many people in her wide circle of family, friends, and associates, I have fallen under the spell of this phenomenal woman. To describe her as a successful thoroughbred breeder and owner would be as inadequate as saying the Mona Lisa is a nice little painting. Josephine has been a force of strength and determination in every endeavor she has undertaken, and there have been many. Pinoak Stud and the horses from a thoroughbred program which began in 1949 have provided her with endless enjoyment and highlights throughout her glittering life. Josephine, or Mrs. A as she is affectionately known by many, is not the traditional silver spoon heiress. She was born in Kingston, Jamaica in 1926, the only child of Lily Frank and James Smither Abercrombie. Her father was one of 13 children, and he scrambled through his early life as a farmer and oil rig worker, surviving dust bowls in rural Texas and the Great Depression of the 1920s and 30s. When the economic tide finally turned, the oil business allowed the Abercrombie family to prosper. Josephine's early life involved her in cattle and horses and put her on a path to becoming one of the nation's leading saddlebred riders. In 1953, at the National Horse Show in Madison Square Gardens in New York, she established a record which still stands today of 12 blue ribbon victories. In what has always been a crowded and demanding schedule, Josephine found the time to gather five husbands and two sons. Most of the exes just couldn't keep up with her. In 1959, she founded the very successful Lexington School, now a nationally respected institution which has become one of Kentucky's most sought after places for primary education. She established the Houston Boxing Association and befriended the likes of Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. In her spare time, Josephine flew around North America with her ballroom dance partners and instructors, winning national competitions as far apart as New York, Houston, and Puerto Rico. The Pin Oak Stud of today was created on 880 rich farming acres in Woodford County by and for Josephine Abercrombie. More than 100 stakes winners have been bred in a meticulously planned program most of which raced in her elegant striped silks. The blue and gray are a nod to the colors of her alma mater, Rice University in Houston, Texas, which has handsomely benefited from her philanthropy. Among the few horses which have been sold at auction are the likes of Preakness Stakes winner Elocutionist and Touching Wood, winner of the English St. Ledger and second in the Epsom Derby. The vast majority of this rich vein of stakes winners are homebreds, which have raced for Josephine's Pin Oak stable, mostly in North America. Champion females like Laugh and Be Merry, and two-year-old star Confessional. Multiple graded stakes winners Broken Vow and Alternation, both who now stand at Pin Oak, and one of Josephine's all-time favorites, Peaks and Valleys. This homebred was Canada's Horse of the Year in 1995, fittingly ridden to victory in the Grade 1 Molson International by another talented female equestrian in jockey Julie Crone. Maria's Mon stood his entire stud career at Pin Oak, siring amongst his many winners two Kentucky Derby victors. Maria's Mon was introduced to Pin Oak by none other than veterinarian Dr. Pug Hart, who brokered the deal between Josephine and Morton Rosenthal. When the stallion proved a little rambunctious at his introductory cocktail reception, Pug took the shank and paraded Maria's Mon to an appreciative and admiring crowd. For many years, Josephine has sponsored a graded stake, the Valley View at Keeneland. In recent years, she has won the Valley View not once, but twice, with homebreds Bedankin in 2002 and Overheard in 2013. I had the pleasure of being with her on both occasions. Dressed to kill in a beautiful suit in pin oak blue, Josephine watched over her cross the wire in front. Her intense blue eyes riveted everybody in the room as she danced around saying this was the best day of her life. She had said exactly the same words in 2002. Josephine has had many best days of her life in her 96 years, and I hope there will be several more to come. 
This sale tonight represents the remaining active fillies, mares and foals within the Pin Oak program, all of which have benefited from the planning and nurturing that Josephine and her trusted farm manager, Clifford Barry, have always bestowed on their charges. This is an opportunity to participate in bloodlines that have kept Pin Oak on the forefront of the thoroughbred world. When their new buyers and owners hit a home run or win anything from a maiden to a grade one stake, nobody will be cheering louder than Josephine. Your success will be her success.